Good eye, the one and only Xylophony here with another Ark Survival Evolved dossier. And we're going to take a look at the Procoptodon, otherwise known as the Roo. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what, what came over me there, but welcome. We have the giant kangaroo here. Now, as you can see in the picture, even when on all fours, this thing is still taller than humans. So it'll easily be a mount. You'll be able to ride on it and probably have some serious jumping capabilities. Now, on top of that, in the game, they're going to make it possible for you to ride in its pouch. Not only that, but the pouch will be able to carry a lot of stuff. So that's very interesting. Uh, I don't know what you guys think about that, but I'm sure you will let me know in the comments. Anyway, in the wild, the first marsupial I've encountered on the island is the Procoptodon vivincurus. Standing nearly three meters tall, it's also the largest jumping creature I've ever heard of. It's a fairly peaceful herbivore that only fiercely attacks if aggressed upon. One of the Procoptodon's most unique features is its pouch. Unlike many pouched marsupials, Procoptodon's pouch is relatively dry and has little in the way of sticky or oily fluids. I assume this is good for the joey, but I have not figured out exactly why yet. Ooh, so there we go, it has a dry pouch that we can uh, hop inside, ride, we can put storage in there, stuff like that. That'll be explained more in the domesticated section, but I think that's pretty cool. Obviously there aren't any other marsupials on the island, and I don't see a lot being added over time. But this is probably the main marsupial people think of, so it'll make a lot of sense having this guy. And, uh, well, another fast mammal to be added to the island. When domesticated, Procoptodon's dry pouch makes it an excellent beast of burden that can carry far more than other creatures of its size. But, more importantly, many tribes use it as a two-seater transport by having the second rider nest in the pouch. Since this passenger doesn't have to worry about controlling the Procoptodon, the pouch warrior can focus on firing his or her weapons. So, I didn't quite catch this at first when I was looking at these pictures. In the picture on the right side of the page, we have a person sitting inside the uh, kangaroo's pouch using a spear. So that is certainly one way to hunt things, one way to attack things, one way to make these guys a whole lot stronger. And in the other picture there, we have someone using a bow from outside the pouch. Now, even with the, the amazingly large size of these guys, that still doesn't seem very comfortable for anyone, especially the Procoptodon, but it still seems like a really cool feature to add. Just because it's dark, I'm thinking it'll make your body smaller when you hop into it, just like it resizes you when you hop onto certain mounts. But either way, it's uh, very, very unique, I must say. Now, I'm really interested in the speed of this thing. Now, it has a little clock symbol, so it says it's going to have a lot of speed and a whole lot of jump. But the person riding on it seems like it's having some trouble staying on. That's how fast it's going. So, I'm really uh, interested in seeing if this is one of the fastest things in the game. Already, some of the faster dinosaurs in the game are the ones with the big jumps. And seeing as a kangaroo will probably have a jump, you know, similar to the frog with probably more speed, he may be the fastest dinosaur in the game, or fastest creature in the game once he comes out. But let me know what you guys think of the Procoptodon. I think it'll be amazing having kangaroos in the game. Definitely excited to do one, and I will surely be throwing around as many bad Australian accents as I can once I get one. Uh, but yes, leave a comment, leave a like, and I will see you next time.